we have a really good EMS uh, side of it where we go to rehab, make sure everybody gets a lot of fluids, take rotation. We have a lot of departments here from surrounding areas to come in as manpower, not only interior but exterior to help out and try to, to maneuver people around so that they're not getting over here. During Wednesday's response, Kennedy Fire Department Chief Keith says crews had issues with one of their dry risers, an empty pipe that is connected to a water source like a lake or pond, but they were able to source 10 tankers of water to put out the flames. Rural counties like Chautauqua rely heavily on mutual aid to have enough manpower to take every call. During the day, everybody works. You have a day crew, but most of them are retired. Um, so it's, or they work night shift and they're in bed sleeping. Uh, so it's very, very, very important to have mutual aid that's going to be able to come out and help out. Firefighter, engineer, and leader of the Rescue 7 response team, Dave Barkoyak, was amongst those on scene providing support to firefighters. Rescue 7 and its companion truck, uh, Rescue 7-1, which is housed at the East Dunkirk Fire Station, uh, provides air supply and uh, scene lighting for any fire or emergency that we're called to. Uh, we uh, fill air bottles as they get depleted by the firefighters so they can go back to work. Air tanks sound off when they have 33% remaining. That's when firefighters swap their packs for fresh ones. The used tanks are collected and refilled by Rescue 7's crew. This is the fourth run for this truck in nine days. It started out last week Monday at the uh, Pond Stars fire in Sheridan. And then Thursday, there was a house fire in Falconer. And uh, Sunday, there was a house fire in Gary. And now this fire here. And mixed in there, there was a fire alarm activation. Didn't amount to anything, uh, but uh, we went anyways. Julia Gress, WNY News Now.